Hey guys, it's Katie and welcome back to another video. In today's video, I am yarn shopping at the biggest Joanne in the country. Y'all, this is the biggest Joanne in the United States. And I got to go there on our vacation when we went to Columbus, Ohio, which as you guys are seeing this, this was last week. So a couple of things before we get started. First off, this is a yarn haul, like yarn shopping video, which I normally post every other Friday, but this week is a special one because I am going to the largest Joanne in the country in this video and showing you the yarns that I picked up while I was there. So I'm posting this on like an in-between Friday that would normally not be a yarn shopping or yarn haul video but um i wanted to get this up for you guys because i was so excited to go to this store while we were on vacation so that's why you're seeing another yarn haul if you ever realized that i post every other friday this is off of that schedule for uh yarn hauls but i'm sure you guys won't mind <laughs> and also before we get into this all the yarns that i am going to show you in this video I am going to link below if you're interested or if you didn't hear a color name something like that it'll all be linked below for y'all i have so much yarn so much but before we get into the yarn that i actually bought i want to show you guys the footage of when i was actually at the store and actually showing you because there's a yarn wall okay a yarn wall which i know there's a lot of stores that have yarn walls like there's two close to me in Florida, well not close, but like two hours away from me in Florida, but I had never seen them in person because I just go to my local Joanne normally. And I saw that this Joanne had a yarn wall, so of course I wanted to go. So let me show you all of that footage. <laughs> Okay, small clearance section. And then as we're going over here, there's car and one pounds is what this whole area is on the yarn wall. And then it transitions to Red Heart Super Savers, like right here. And then that's what it is all the way down here. And there are some regular yarn aisles as well. You guys, I'm just like so in awe that this is actually like basically fully stocked as well. Like this is insane. All right, now that you've seen the amazing yarn wall that literally I like could never get tired of like please just put that in my house anyways you guys some exciting news that I also want to share before I actually start showing you the yarns is right after we got back from this trip I did a Joanne pickup order which you guys are gonna see in another haul like really far down the line but i did do a joanne pickup order actually because i have some custom orders that i'm doing for friends of friends i guess you could say and um i needed new yarns for that anyway that's all beside the point whenever i went into my local joanne which i hadn't been in a few weeks since we were out of town and i also just had been buying joanne yarns online instead of going in store 
So I went into my Joanne and they're redoing the store. Which, when we were at this Joanne in Columbus, my mom actually asked the cashier um, about the store because my mom looked it up and we figured out this is the biggest Joanne in the country. And she was like, Joanne started in Cleveland, Ohio, which is a little bit farther than Columbus. Um, I think like two or three hours away from Columbus. But anyway, and this was a concept store that they built in 2018 and they eventually want to have all of their Joannes look like this Joanne that you guys saw in the footage. So that's going to be so exciting. So since my Joanne is being redone, which I love how I said my Joanne as if I own it or something. I don't. But my local Joanne, since it is being redone, it gives me hope that maybe there is a yarn wall coming which would be so exciting. We did talk to the cashier today, as of filming this is when I went and got the pickup order, and he said that he didn't know if a yarn wall was coming, but he did say the yarn section is being moved to the back, which in my local store, the yarn section is kind of in the center. So it would be very interesting to see if it being moved to the back means there's a yarn wall coming. I am hoping, keeping my fingers crossed, but also not getting my hopes up. Now, if there is a yarn wall coming to my local Joanne, I'm going to film a vlog for you guys the first time I go and like the remodeling is done so that y'all can see with me. But anyway, with all of that out of the way, I've talked way too long in just this intro. So let's get into the two very big bags of yarn that I bought at the Columbus, Ohio Joanne. So I'm not exaggerating you guys when I said I bought two very large bags. Now, I cannot find my receipt. So I don't know exactly how much I paid for all of these. And of course, the week we happened to be on vacation, in Columbus, where the biggest Joanne is, of course, there wasn't really any good sales going on. So instead, I ended up using my coupon that was $15 off any purchase of $75 or more. So my original total was like 90 something, I think, and then it was down to 75 or something like that because of my coupon. So there's that and pretty much the only sale that i did shop was 25 percent off baby yarn you'll notice that i got quite a bit of baby blanket just because that was on sale as well as baby velvet was all 25 percent off but that was pretty much the only sale they had going on as of me shopping so it is a little bit unfortunate i wish they had like the 6.99 burnett blanket or something like that but unfortunately that was not the case so anyway let me show you the stuff that i bought so the back wall that is that yarn wall, the two types of yarn they had on there was Red Heart Super Saver and Karin, one pounds Karin Jumbos, so Karin. Um, I got three yarns off the yarn wall. I'm showing you these two first because I did use these a little bit. Um, for hats that I showed in Monday's video, if you guys are interested in watching that. But um, I bought these two in Columbus and ended up using them in our hotel room for hats. So first we have the Karin Jumbo by Yarn Inspirations. This is a 100% acrylic yarn. It is 12 ounces, 340 grams, 595 yards, 544 meters. It is a medium weight four and suggests five millimeter crochet hooks and knitting needles. This color name is called Blue Raspberry. So here's what this color looks like up close. On camera, it's even showing up darker than it actually is. But anyway, it's just like light blues, teal, mint, like colors like that all combined. So that is the first yarn, which I paid full price for that, as well as for these. These aren't considered baby yarns, so it was full price, except for the $15 off I got with the coupon I used. But anyway, this next one is the other one that I have already used a little bit of, and this is Red Heart Super Saver. 
This is the five ounce one, which is 141 grams, 236 yards, 515 meters. And this color is called Lapis. It is also 100% acrylic, medium weight four, so just five and a half millimeter crochet hooks and five millimeter knitting needles. So again, this color is called Lapis which this skein is very flat now because of how much I used. But um, it is like light blue and dark blue together. Almost like a denim color is how I would describe it and I thought it was really pretty. So I got that one. And this third and final yarn that I got from the yarn wall is another Red Heart Super Saver, so I'm not going to bother telling you the breakdown because it's the exact same as this one, except the color name is different. This one is called McCall, which is like darker blue and lighter blue, I would say. So here's what this looks like, and the plan for this one was to also make another hat out of this for Hat Not Hate. That's why all of these skeins are blue but I just did not have enough time before we were leaving Columbus and before I needed to donate the hats. So that's why this skein is still a full skein, but I will still use it maybe next year to donate if there's a donation center that's closer to me, um, or if I just happen to be in the area of a donation center. But um, I can also just use it to donate somewhere else as well. So that's why I picked it up. But very pretty blue colors and a lot of colors in Karin one pounds Karin jumbos and red heart super savers that I had never seen before in general especially not at my local Joanne so it was very interesting to see all of those yarns on that yarn wall and to compare what my local store has versus what a huge Joanne like that has yo I found the receipt Okay, and I'm also just kidding about that being everything for what was on the yarn wall because I just found another Red Heart Super Saver. <laughs> oh, I'm a mess. Okay. The Karin Jumbo was $11.99, but I paid $9.77. I guess that's with the, um, the coupon I used. Okay, I don't know. I guess the coupon just made this come out weird. But um, the Lapis one is $4.49 and I paid $4.49. The McCall one is $4.49 and I paid $3.65. So I think that's just, again, the $15 off the coupon. It just took that off of like random yarns, I think. Um, so I do have one more Red Heart Super Saver that I need to show you before I move on to all of the Burnett yarns. Now this is a Red Heart Super Saver that is like the traditional size. This is the seven ounce, 198 gram, 364 yards, 333 meter skein. This is the traditional size that I'm used to. The ones that are like prints like this are normally the five ounce ones, but I'm more used to the solid ones cause that's what they have more of at my Joanne. And um, this is a seven ounce one. So this is again, medium weight four, so just five millimeter knitting needles, five and a half millimeter crochet hooks and 100% acrylic. That part is not different. It's just the size of the skein is different. And this is the color light sage. I got this because this is a color that I have never ever seen in any of my local stores. So I thought it was like a really cute frog color as well and I've been obsessed with frogs recently like making them anyways this was $4.49 normally and I paid $3.66 again I think because of the coupon because there was no kind of sale on uh, any of that yarn all right next we're moving on to regular Burnett so this is Burnett blanket and this is a 100% polyester yarn, 10.5 ounces, 300 grams, 220 yards, 201 meters. And this is a super bulky number six. It's just eight millimeter knitting needles and crochet hooks. This one is called Smoky Green. Now I got this one because again, Squishmallows, I have been struggling to find a good green color 
happened in my local area and it has not happened even what my joanne has stocked online like for pickup orders and stuff never any good green colors and i saw this one so i had to pick it up so this is regular price 11.99 and i paid 9.76 so i think again that's because of the coupon all right you guys now this is the only yarn that i have left that is not a baby blanket yarn so this is the last one that's not 25 percent off so this is burnett blanket brights which i don't know about you guys but every time i see this it is online only for all of the brights whenever i go on my joanne app it says online exclusive which to me obviously means is not in joanne's stores but they had burnett blanket brights in store at the columbus ohio joanne which i was so shocked by i never order it because i don't know if it's like different because i like to feel yards you know what i mean so i've never ordered it just because i'm like what if it's different from the regular blanket i don't know why it would be but i just never bothered to order it in case but i got my hands on it in store and then actually when i looked at my local joanne now that we've been back they also had the brights not this color but they did have like the blue i think so i thought it was online only but i guess it's not even though it says that on the joanne app anyways this is the orange color so this color name is carrot orange which this breakdown is exactly the same as the last one so again not gonna bother to tell you everything over again so here it is and it's honestly on camera it showed up a lot brighter than it is like this is its true color i think what you're seeing from here but um this is again carrot orange and i don't have any orange colors for burnet blanket and since i do use it for so many different squishmallows and stuff this would be great my thought is the monarch butterfly maybe i don't know not in making any promises because it'll be a while before the pattern even comes out so this was regular price 11.99 and i paid 9.77 so again the pricing is weird because of the coupon but either way this is a very exciting color for me <laughs> all right now the rest of everything is baby yarns so i have two burnett baby blankets which these two are also the same breakdown as a regular burnett blanket so i'm again not going to repeat myself but this is the color baby denim so it is like a darker blue as the name of denim would suggest and i don't remember what i told myself i was gonna make with this but something i guess and this one is regular price again 11.99 but with the 25 percent off for all baby blanket that made it 7.33 so that's what i paid for this one okay final blanket yarn this one is another baby blanket so again gonna have the same breakdown this one is baby blue so this one is a really soft blue color i'm trying to show this on camera you guys and it's not showing up properly so it is like a really light blue now this color i don't think i've seen in my local store i could also just be misremembering things but i don't think i've seen this at my local store so that's why i picked it up and again this was 25 percent off so regular price is again 11.99 and i paid 7.32 which i'm very confused by how all the pricing is broken down i'm assuming it's because of the coupon like i've said a million times but this is 25 percent off and so was the last one but somehow on the last one i paid 7.33 but on this one i paid 7.32 i mean i don't know it's one cent difference but still all right anyways two more left to show you guys and these yarns are baby velvet yarns so these two are going to have exactly the same breakdown so i'm just going to tell you on one of them so this is burnett baby velvet and it is 10.5 ounces 300 grams 492 yards 450 meters 100 percent polyester medium weight four and suggest four and a half millimeter knitting needles or five millimeter crochet hooks 
and this color is vapor gray which y'all have seen me buy in the regular velvet but i wanted it in the baby velvet because i actually recently realized that the baby velvet is a weight four and the regular velvet is a weight five i thought they were exactly the same but they're not so um i wanted the weight four version since i already have the weight five and since this was on sale hopefully that makes sense but anyway this was regular price of 11.99 and i paid 7.33 all right final one y'all this is purple pansy which is this purple color and it is again baby velvet so all of the same breakdown and this is regular price 11.99 and i paid 7.32 so again, I don't know the difference between the 33 and the 32. I guess maybe on some of them it just took off like one cent to add up to the $15 off coupon that I used. I'm not exactly sure. But um, either way, that's what I paid. I can tell y'all my total. My mom did get a coffee. So that was $3.49. That's the only thing I didn't tell you. And um, so the total without tax was $73.89 and with tax was $79.44. Not bad, which on a different receipt that I have from a local yarn store, it said the tax was 7.5%, which I think is the same that it is in my area, to be honest. So I'm assuming 7.5 is also what the tax is was for the joanne stuff but anyways you guys that is all for this video i really hope you enjoyed seeing this huge joanne's and i really want to hear in the comments from you guys does your joanne look like this because if it does i'm jealous y'all i'm so jealous but i do have hope that that remodel that they are doing at my local store is going to involve a yarn wall i have hope I'm not getting my hopes up <laughs> but if it does involve a yarn wall I'll definitely be making a vlog where I go there to see it for the first time and uh, obviously show it to you as well and um, if you guys are ever curious to see what the yarn sections look like in my local stores I did a full video on that so when you're seeing hauls and stuff obviously this is different because i shopped at the one in columbus but for regular hauls and videos that's a good reference because those are the stores i shop at so you can see what my options look like in those stores um so i can link that below for you guys as well as i'll link some other hauls and come yarn shopping with me videos that i've done in the past and um if y'all do want to see more of all of that in the future make sure you hit the subscribe button down below and turn on the post notification bell that way you know every single time i upload a brand new video and if you did enjoy seeing this huge joanne in this video make sure you give this video a big thumbs up if y'all do want to see more from me you can always check out more videos of mine my blog my etsy shop my podcast all my social medias my vlog channel and my regular shop all of that is always included in the description box down below for you guys as well as I'm going to link all these yarns down below for you guys if you're interested in purchasing any of them for yourself. But that is all. So thank you again for watching and I will see you guys here on Sunday for a yarn sale as well as on Monday for another regular video. Goodbye!